So a few people have wanted a, t a tutorial on how to mod the sound effects in Shellshock Live. So I'm going to attempt that again now. I did do it on stream, but it went a bit wrong. So we'll try again. The first things that you're going to need are UABE and Asset Studio. If you've already modded Shellshock Live, you will all already have these. Um, but if not, these are two programs that you need. The third is going to be Unity, which you can get for free. Uh, and to mod the audio, you are going to need it. All the links are in the description, so don't worry about that. First thing we want to do is find Shellshock Live. Right click on the game, go to Manage, Browse Local Files. We're looking for the data folder. Copy this. Go to Asset Studio, Load Folder. We're going to put that in there. Load the data folder to get all the assets. We're going to filter it by audio clip. And then we're going to export the filtered assets wherever you want to put them. I'm going to put it in here, Shell Assets. And we'll put them in there. So that's going to export all the audio that you're going to want. Now all of these are exported. This you're not going to need again, I don't think. Close it for now anyway, probably won't need it. So we open up this folder. Under audio clip, we're going to make a new folder called modded audio fucking easy then all you need to do is get the the audio that you've been using for mine i am going to use this boing mario uh, we'll just do them two for now i'm going to copy these take them back to modded audio and paste them in go back to the audio clip find the ones that you want to uh, that you want to mod no we're not going to do that and we change it to we're going to change this one or rename it and give it the same name bumper.wav wav and this one is going to be the tank explosion uh, copy it into the same so the same name right rename tank explosion so now we've got two, we've got our files, which we've given the same name as the ones that we want to change. The next thing that we do is we open Unity. It might take a while depending on your system, but just bear with it. We make a new project. Doesn't matter what you choose here, but it's fine. We're going to go to Stream Stuffs, Shell Assets. We'll make a new folder called Unity Shell. That doesn't really matter for now, but we'll just put it in there. Create the project. When it's loaded up, you'll see this screen. You don't need to change anything else. Just right click in the assets folder, import new asset. We're going to go down to 
modded audio, the two that you've made, that you've just renamed, we're gonna import those into Unity, select both of those files, and then drag them into Unity. That's all you need to do. Go to File, uh, Build Settings, Build, and we are gonna put it, uh, yeah, it's already in there. We give it a name, and then Save. So now we can close Unity. We don't need that. Now, if you go to the shell data, the game that you've just made, and that is a game that you've just made, congratulations. We change this name to uh, whatever you want, modded audio. We open up UABE. I'm going to want to copy this file. Open Roll B. Go down to your assets. Find the two audio clips that you want. And this time, going to export a dump. So we're going to go back to shell assets, make a new folder called dump. This will make a text file. Save that one in there. The next one, do the same for the next one. Export dump, save. We can okay that. Uh, shell assets, go to the dump. Open it up. And we change this name to modded shell. Save that. Open this. Change this to modded shell. That's the name you gave the resource just a second ago. In a game that you just made, modded, oh, modded audio. Well, shit. Modded. Audio, save, modded, audio, and then save. Then we're going to open up the game, which is in the Steam library, Steam apps, common, Shellshock Live, Shellshock Live data. And we are going to change shared asset zero. We look for the two, search by name, bumper, which is the audio. We're going to import dump, which is here, bumper. We open that. And we also want the Tank, we can just put tank E with the star and it should find it. Import dump, tank explosion, open, okay. We save it, save as shared asset zero. We are going to put that into the Shellshock Live data folder, the actual game. Replace it. Then we're going to go to the game that we just made, my project, Shell Data, and the modded audio one. We're going to put that in 
Shellshock Live data as well. And that should be, that should be it. So I did do a fresh install of uh, Shellshock. game looks very strange so now if we go to single player skirmish let's do it we'll do a we'll put obstacles on we'll do this will had add a human it's not going to be that big a deal Uh, easy. So now the bumper noise has changed. You can hear the boing noise. So they're the two noises that we added. Just do that again quickly. So hopefully you can hear it. There you go. It isn't hard. Just a pain in the ass. But if you need help, reach out to me on Discord or on Twitch, where I stream most days. Links will be in the dis uh, description again. So enjoy.